Hey guys, let me know what you think by liking and commenting, and it really helps me and this channel out when you subscribe, so please click that button. Thanks a bunch! Hey everyone, today's episode is brought to you by Rolltrue Scale Models. In particular, Rolltrue's line of precision-made HO scale wheels. Rolltrue's precision wheels are made out of turned brass, each one turned individually and then blackened. This allows for the truest rolling wheel and the smoothest rolling wheel. Currently, these wheels come in American freight sizes. That's 33 inch wheels and they come in both short and long axle. And they also come in IHC, AHM, and River Rossery replacement sizes. That includes the incredibly small pizza cutter wheels and the standard plastic wheels. Remember, roll true for the truest rolling wheels. Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over Broadway Limited's new Paragon 4 General Electric ES44AC locomotive. Any type of locomotive like this, particularly General Electric or anything that's in mainstream use is going to have a lot of representation. There are a lot of companies that are doing these and Broadway Limited has thrown their hat into the ring now. But I suppose that's fine since these particularly ES44 ACs or any of General Electric's modern locomotives have quite a fan following and once anyone starts to sell them, they seem to sell out pretty quickly. So there's a lot of room in this field but you know, how is this going to measure up against other competitors? Well, I'll leave that up to you. I've got some others that I'll sort of go side to side with and you can kind of see the differences in details, but any model like this ES44AC is gonna be a pretty mature design because I just don't think any companies have the choice. Now, one thing that this particular locomotive has that the others don't is a smoke unit because it's Broadway Limited. But of course, we've all seen my luck with Broadway Limited smoke in it, so we'll see how this one goes. This first one is the GE Demonstrator model, number 3000, and um, it's going to be the same. But I thought it was nice. I have a fair number of these, actually, demonstration units. Actually, this will be my fourth, so I figured I'd add to that. So let me just give you a quick walk around. You can see it's a dual speaker typical front there. You're probably pretty used to the front of an ES44AC if you know what you're looking at because it's again pretty popular. But overall the paint looks crisp and clear. I think they've done a good job here. I think Broadway Limited in general does a fairly good job on their paint um, and certainly here you can see the number boards are marked with the correct number. Let's take a look at what else they have going on here. Can't see it well but they have cab details and cab figures which of course I really like. Walk around here, the hand railings seem to be a good size, but they feel pretty solid. If we pull off the back here of the radiator setup, you'll see the switch for the smoke unit. Right now it's on. It's always a scary position to be in for Broadway Limited because I can never know what's going to happen when they're on. But if you want to turn it on or off, you just pop this little cover off. It comes off pretty easily. It snaps pretty sure so it shouldn't fall off or cause any problems. You can see my horn unit is a little bit, it's a little bit tweaked. Big walk around this a little bit more for you. Now in some of my other ones, these grills and grates that you see that allow for air intake are actually see-through. These ones don't appear to be, um, but that's okay. If you're okay with that, that is. Um, I know other companies are kind of pride themselves on making these things see-through, but these ones are not. You can see it has both a conductor and an engineer inside. Separately applied grab irons. There are the sand filler ports. And let's take a look at the second one that I have. Okay, this one is Burlington Northern Santa Fe, and I grew up around Burlington Northern, so I love the Cascade Green and the BN, and frankly, I just find Burlington, oh, that's interesting. That, hopefully that's not off of anything important. <laughs> well, okay, Broadway Limited's quality control strikes again, I guess, and ah, that's what it's off of. The front coupler, yeah, the front coupler. It looks like there's another, wait a minute. Yeah, there's an entire screw missing out the bottom of this thing. So the coupler wasn't put on and there's an entire screw. And it's weird too. It looks like the reason why they didn't put it in is because there's a manufacturing error that 
is leaving the hole. Well, let's try the other ones. Are they in there? Oh, bizarre. Tire screw is missing, and it looks like the screw is missing because there is a manufacturing error on the bottom. Is that the case you know? This one's fine. So why does... Yeah, these ones are fine. So why does the Burlington Northern Santa Fe one have the bizarre error? At... Yikes. Well, that's it's not very good. It's not enough to send it back over, but look at that. They could have done a better job there. Okay, well, more fun with Burlington Nor or excuse me, more fun with Broadway Limited, I guess. It's always got to, it's always something. Why is it always something with these guys? I don't know, I don't get it. Anyway, the rest of it looks fine. Weird, just don't get that at all. All right, well, let's take a walk around. It's the same, so it should look about the same, except for that weird manufacturing error. I'm not sure why that's in there. And yuck, I just I hate stuff like that, ick. All right, anyhow, it's, yeah, it's pretty crisp. At least the paint's in good shape. Even has all these little warnings all over it, that kind of thing. That's nice, they did a good job with that. Let me get a little more close up for you. Everything looks nice. Nice ditch lights, it's SMD LEDs. They, they look right in there. It's not that you'll be sticking your face up this close. One thing you can see the pickups you can see the actual wheel wipers through, and that's something I've seen on other Broadway Limited. You can decide if that's bothersome to you. It's not as bad on here as it was on the P70 coaches. Fuel tank looks all fine and dandy. As was a, there's the bell down there, that's all in place. Uh, this one's horn assembly is a little straighter, so I appreciate that. Getting nice and crisp here. I don't see anything that I dislike. Lots of nice little details, but again, these Grills and grates aren't see-through as they are on some of my others. That may or may not bother you. I have to admit, I do find it impressive when they're see-through, but it's not a necessary requirement. I'm curious to know if, if you like that kind of thing or not. Go around the other side. Everything looks really nice here. Compressions, compression tanks, everything. Everything looks good here. So I think everything's pretty good. Just that bizarre error on the bottom. Well, let's take a moment to compare this to some of my other ES44 ACs. And what's funny is I'm not really an ES44 or any kind of fanboy or anything like that. I like the way they look, but I, but I just collect so many of them because there are so many to be had. And if you, let's see, the first one here, this is made by Intermountain. This is a fantasy paint scheme for CB&Q slash Burlington Root. So we can take a look at that. One thing I notice about that is the rear grill looks a little more see-through. Um, at least the one on top. Let me kind of arrange these here. The next one I have is by Mike's Treehouse, or MTH. This is another one of my demonstrators, 2010. And this is one of my favorites because of the way the lights light up on the side. It's hard to beat that. So we'll take a look at that again. Um, put that aside and then we'll sort of take a look at them again. That kind of rear grate on the back is see-through. And this one is from Athern. This is another fantasy paint scheme, which I love, of course, because it's Burlington Northern. And take a look at that. Um, so you can, I'll see if I can give you a sort of closer views of all these so you can see which ones you like better. One thing I notice is that they have slightly different interpretations of these little fans on the back here. Um, some are a little bit more noticeable. You know, there's the Intermountain pick this one up. These ones are obviously have little see-through grates and it's nice that they made the fans an off color and off silver so that I could see them through there. It's not too bad. Um, if we take a look at the Intermountain, they had kind of the same idea. I don't know, the grates just seem more delicate and fine and it just seems like there's, or, excuse me, this is the Athern. Um, it seems like they did a slightly better job there. None of it's truly distracting or anything, but it seems like they did a better job and again, um, MTH has a slightly different interpretation. Again, there could have been differences on the originals. Again, it seems like there's just a little bit more detail in these back grates. If we take a look, well, maybe, is that kind of see-through? I don't know, it's hard to tell because the color underneath is exactly the same, but I don't think it is. I think it's one big piece and it's not see-through or a separately applied piece like some of these others. Maybe I'm wrong there. I don't know. Maybe I'm right. It just looks like it just looks like there's more detail. There's more to see with these rear grates in the other manufacturers. This looks just kind of blocky and chunky. 
looks a little more maybe, let's see if I can kind of see if there's light coming through there. I don't think so. I think this is one piece and it's not separately applied. So I think in a way the Broadway Limiteds aren't quite as good there. Whereas this is clearly a separate piece that you can kind of see through. Of course there's, you can't see kind of underneath on this Intermountain one. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm obsessing a little bit too much over this just I can't really see under this so I don't know they may have made slightly different models but they're just something that's more delicate and I don't know just more intricate about the Atherin and Intermountain versions compared to the Broadway Limited. I'll go down the nose section and the front railings and one thing I notice is that a couple of them seem to have more details in terms of I guess there's a type of stippling or a type of diamond texture or something on top of the cab. And again, they could have, that could be made to order. There could be some sort of grippy surface or diamond texturing or something on some of them that you can order and others don't have it. Either way, the two Broadway Limiteds don't have it. But if you take a look at the Intermountain, you can kind of clearly see that it's, it's a type of stippling or something type of texture on top of the cab and the same with the Atherin as well. So if you look, it looks like the Atherin has and the, yeah, it looks like they have the separate grab iron above the window. It looks like everybody's okay there. Nice windshield wipers. So I think, you know, the fronts look pretty equivalent. I think some of these roads had different options that they could add on top. Yeah, maybe there's, I don't know, an air conditioner. I don't know what all that stuff is on top, but they're certainly slightly different. But it looks like the Broadway Limited's measure up here has separately opening windows that are opened in the, in the shade there. Just not sure why they lack this little kind of diamond texturing or whatever it is on top of the cab. And again, I don't know if that's correct or not, but here you go, you can take a look at them. See if you like one particularly better than the other. Now, I wish I had a scale trains version, but I don't. One thing I like to do with my Broadway Limiteds right off the bat is change it so that the smoke unit is off when it powers up. And this is a soft off, so as long as that switch is on, this is relevant. If you turn the whole switch off, it just cuts power to the smoke unit in general, so this won't be an issue. But if you want, here it is. It is in CV246. So if you want to go through that with me here, I'll just do it while we're on this. So we go to 246, if I can find the key. We'll read it to make sure none, uh, anything else comes up and bit uh, three is on, but we'll go ahead and turn off bit seven. So that's no problem. And now when it powers up, it will start up with the smoke unit off. So that's always good. You want, um, you can download this document and it has a lot of other features that you might find useful with the onboard decoder. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to play the sounds for you through the speak, right through your speaker, it's gonna be difficult. But to me, once again with BLI, the sound is a little bit lacking. I, again, it may sound fine to you because of my recording might make it a little bit better, but I, I just find the quality a little bit down overall.
again, in a way you can't hear it, but I can. I just think these speakers are somewhat deficient compared to other brands that I have. They're, they're just not as good. They're kind of hollow. They're a little bit tinny and they're a little bit rattly. Not nearly as bad as some of Broadway Limited's other speakers, but I think this is one area that they just, they really need to work on. They really need to improve. Just not a big fan of their sounds. Although this one, these are probably some of their better ones. Oh, well, let's take a look at the smoke units real quick. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll like what you see here. Okay, so these are blown smoke units, so there is a fan in them. Um, the fan in my Burlington Northern Santa Fe works notably better than the one in my demonstrator. And one thing about my demonstrator is I can hear the fan itself rattling around a little bit. So I know it's a little, a little bit miscentered or it's, it's not aligned properly or something like that. All right, let's check the coupler height here. It looks, this was the one that was off from the factory. And even though I put it back on, ooh, it's, yeah, that doesn't look good at all. Let's try the back one. It's offset. And so I'm gonna have to actually kinda, the height looks so, well, no, yeah, there it goes. Okay, the height looks okay, but it's strangely offset. And let's try the demonstrator here. I think we're okay. That one's okay. All right, so no problem. It's not like the other one. Maybe I'll have to see. Boy, the, I wonder what's up with the BNSF one. Let's try, ah, come on, get it. Okay, looks okay. So the front of the BNSF one that was detached from the factory does not fit all that well. Okay, let's give the built-in capacitors a try. And from what I can tell, listening to them going over my unpowered points, you're gonna be glad these are in there because I don't think the pickups are the greatest. Okay, four seconds should be sufficient, but remember the smoke units are off on these. The smoke units are off. Okay, four seconds should be enough. And again, from what I can tell, when I hear them, I can kind of hear them kind of take a power dive when they go over my unpowered points a lot of times. So I think you're gonna be glad these capacitors are in there. It's too bad, however, that you know they're gonna be used for something as simple as rolling over an unpowered point. 
All right, so I'll give some final thoughts here and uh, I'll give you a running session afterwards. In general, if you need these, you know who you are. If you're someone from Europe or something like that, these probably won't make a lot of sense, but you have another choice now for ES44AC. Um, and if you want ones with smoke units, then BLI is the way to go. I think the details are pretty good, but not great great but i think they should be more than good enough for everybody but the most serious or rivet counter like in a lot of broadway limited if not nearly all the sounds are a little bit questionable although i think these are probably better than average for broadway limited but i think if you have another option is particularly one where you can get uh, either tsunami or esu lock sound that might be better if sound quality is what you really care about Right out of the box, these did pretty well. In fact, they were pretty much speed matched out of the box. They were a little bit off, but I didn't really mess with them in order to create this demo that you're about ready to see. I'm gonna have to investigate the coupler height problem in the BNSF version. I mean, why it wasn't on to begin with, I have no idea, and why, you know, it's they kind of botched that screw. I don't know either. Don't quite know why that happened, so. Broadway Limited's quality control, in my opinion anyway, has always been a little bit questionable. I think it remains questionable in the case of these, at least um, for BNSF, that one. The other one seems fine. Although, the, again, the smoke unit fan, I can tell, is rubbing up against something or hitting something. So that's not so great either. All right, well, let me know what you think. Um, do you have any other ES44ACs from other manufacturers that you think either outclass these ones or in fact don't do as enough? Curious to know what your thoughts are on these. Okay, like usual, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll give you a running session here so you can kind of take a look at what these look like in action and I'll leave the smoke on. I'd really love to hear your thoughts as always, so please leave some comments below. And you know, it also helps me a lot if you like, and it really, really helps me out if you subscribe. So if you can please do that, I'd appreciate it. As per usual, I hope uh, you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy model railroading. So happy model railroading, and I will talk to you later. Take care, stay safe. See ya.